You better like and subscribe! Subscribe now! Welcome back to the Goons Goblin Money Gang. We love casting spells. On a serious note, you guys seem to really enjoy that last one. Uh, thanks for that? Don't really know why I got that many views on it, but I mean, I kind of appreciated it. This one's a little bit more awkward, though, because this involves a person that, like, I avidly support and follow and all that, and it's kind of weird seeing them become, like, a main staple point for someone like Hirohei and Rev Says Desu. So... I follow a lot of VTubers. I am a VTuber fucking nerd. I quite enjoy the community and everybody surrounding it. This involves a VTuber named Gia the Brat. Jaya the Brat? Joe the Brat? I don't really know her name, but I avidly consume her content. I follow her on Twitter. I follow her friend Benanya on Twitter. They're both really relatively okay people, but they they sometimes fuck up, and you know how Twitter is, they're gonna fucking ravenize these two girls at the tiniest little fuck-ups, but I will admit, what Jaya did was a little bit of a messy situation in the first place. Jaya is a lewd tuber. She is based around the sexualization of her character, and it put into very not-safe-work scenarios. In fact, a lot of her followers are baited off of this with her posts, which there's no shame in doing. If you're gonna work your body and your grind, then do so. And she's a girl, she's allowed to do that. Use your assets to it. Sex work is considered real work, so there is absolutely no shame in doing what she is doing. However, keep in mind she's a lewd tuber. She has a not safe for work art tag and everything. So what she did in this scenario flew off. Not gonna lie. Gia entered herself into an artist raffle of sorts where they said, hey, Give me your OCs, and I'll draw my OCs fucking them. So, basically, I just uh, got an update on this situation as I was recording this video. Uh, Gia the Bright basically made a twit longer, TLDR. Uh, they never did say the artist was sexually assaulting them, and I don't know why people were saying that, but she also seems to understand that people shouldn't have been saying that, which is correct. She privately apologized to the artist and apologized for making this a uh, public thing, which is good on her part, and she's allowed to block everybody. She admitted to blocking a lot of people and deleting the tweets. She's not trying to hide or anything. Just remind yourself as you're watching this video that this entire video is now subjective to the fact that she did apologize, she admitted she was wrong, uh, but the video will continue on as I like to report and give opinions on the topic at hand. Uh, if you haven't followed Gia, please do. If you haven't followed the artist, please do. They're both good creators and they both deserve the support even if she was in the wrong and committed a mistake. It's completely okay to fuck up on the internet. I don't know why everybody has this mentality that they're not allowed to make mistakes, but she deserves love and support just as much as the next guy does. Their original character is basically in a hentai scenario, which is, you know, it's whatever. You know, I might be a little bit of a freak. I enjoy not so for content of all shapes and forms, to an, to an extent, of course. But when Gia entered this, she clearly did. And then when it finally came out, she was like, what the fuck? How dare you draw this even though I wanted this without my consent, even though I consented? And it's like, just a reminder in this video, I'm not telling anybody to go harass Gia. I'm not telling anybody she's a bad person. I'm not saying that she should be banned off the internet forever because that's the kind of takes I see on Twitter and it's awful. Yes, what Gia said was a little off, and we're gonna discuss that right now, but it's not warranting that she's an awful person. Maybe she just has a bad opinion on something, but it comes from people's experience in life. It's it's gonna happen, you know, difference of opinion, tomato, tomato. So to reiterate, the timeline of events was, Guy says he wants to draw people's OCs getting railed by his, Gia opts in. The art gets done, Gia says, wait, you never asked me if I was still okay with this, which, you know, it's a little silly. If you opted in for it, and you let it happen, then you should and be mad about it later. It's not like real sex, you know? During real sex, if it starts to hurt or you don't like it, you can just push them and say, no, I don't want more. And, you know, there's another lot of, you know, awful parts in that that could happen. You know, some weird fetishized Hollywood movie bullshit. But for most parts and for most people, pushing and saying, no, I don't want this anymore is the end of it. This isn't real sex, though. This is not safe for work art. You didn't reach out to the artist, to my knowledge. He was in the middle of making it, did make it, had made it, and you got it, and that was it. There wasn't any permission that needed to be retracted because you kind of already gave it to him. It's kind of like how, um, with brand deals and stuff. Let's say Kraft Macaroni and Cheese and Spongebob decided they want to have a collab, right? Kraft can't just suddenly pull it off the shelves because they're under a contractual agreement. Now, you might not be under a contractual agreement, but morality and the code of morality says that once you give someone the permission to do something, you can't just Indian give and take it back. That's wrong, and you shouldn't do that. But real quickly, let's read through some of the thread about what Gia was talking about to see what the fuck was going on. First one says, I want to address what happened with the not safe work art and some of the responses I got. Which is okay, you should be allowed to address all of it. First off, no matter what I do, 
I do not condone or support any hatred sent towards anyone, and those who claim to do it on my behalf aren't supported by me in any capacity. I will continue to not name the artist, and anyone who sends them hateful messages, please stop. Which is good on her. Uh, internet harassment is no joke. Uh, people with large followings tend to not understand how easily their followings can bully other people. Even me, when I only had around uh, uh, 1k when addressing drama, forgot to mention it, and people would go out of their way to make other people's lives hell, and it wasn't fun for anyone. The post was two months old and I had forgotten about it and was never informed that I was picked, nor asked if I was still okay at that point, or if any boundaries that were needed to consider, and then I say for community consent, boundaries, and clear communication are absolutely important. Otherwise, this cannot be a safe space for everyone involved. First off, a lot of information in there is actually incorrect, and some of the tweets outlining on the screen will prove that it's correct. I do believe you were informed, I do believe you responded, to it, and even if he didn't alert you that she won, you entered it. You signed up for it. So, I think that kind of opts you into it, you know? And on another note, um, Twitter is not a safe space. The internet is not a safe place. It is a wild wasteland where no matter how many times they try to regulate it and come down with the ban hammer and try to force people to see eye to eye, you still have people coming through the cracks, you still have bad actors and terrible people that'll pop up anywhere and do anything. And I hate to say this because it's not an opinion, it's just the truth. No one has to ask for anything on the internet. If, homo, if like someone like Shadman was still around and they wanted to draw you lewd, they're gonna draw you lewd. They don't need your consent, they don't need your permission. There's no defamation there. It is just them creatively expressing themselves using your branding and icon, and yeah, Anybody can strike down that kind of content. Anybody can disapprove that content, send hate towards it. It's not going to stop some people. They're going to do what they want. I sure to help hope that Gia never encounters anybody like that, because if she does, she's not going to be very happy about it. The post I made was not created because I want to cancel or harass the artist. I want to make a very clear statement that outlined how insanely important communication regarding the writers of all this stuff is. Uh, consent can be revoked at any time. Yeah, like, maybe during an actual encounter, maybe during an actual thing, but you can't retract consent from something that's already happened. It happened, and you let it happen. So, what are you gonna do? You gotta time travel and make them stop? No, that's not gonna- that's unrealistic and unfair. It's like having sex, and then a week later after you already had sex, you claim it's rape. It was non-consensual, and you didn't want it. But at the time, you did. You, you can't just make up your mind like that. That's not how, like, real world working, like, functions. It's just, it's irresponsible, and it's a bit childish, I won't lie. But not to be hateful on her, you know, this could be influenced by some kind of past experience, or it could be influenced by the fact that a lot of people on the internet have this silly mentality, and maybe she's just trying to make a statement. Either way, it's incorrect, and she should probably just retract it and not say stuff like that. Victim clout are baseless and inappropriate. I want to create a safe environment for my community, so anyone harassed towards anyone will not be tolerated. And then the first comment was, please remember, you deleted your comment after it was finished, told the person after they posted it to kindly take it down, and they did it without question. Then you posted your piece, which was incorrect, and I can see the guy right now, his name is Brave Bengal. I don't follow him and didn't see any tweets, they submitted the character, I drew the character, and came back to a bunch of strangers reporting me for sexual assault. <laughs> They asked me a few minutes ago to take it down, and I did, but no one told me anything beforehand. What is this? What? Hold on. Wait, now I'm confused. Okay, I'm back. I did a little bit more digging. Um, first off, this wasn't even a raffle. She just responded to the post, and the guy opted in for it. Second off, um, I want to say at this point, I don't even think that this was a case of her making an honest mistake or retracting consent later. I think she honestly just forgot. And when she realized that she forgot, instead of just saying that she forgot about it, she doubled down, and to summarize her apology, there's just no sorry, there's no my mistake, there's no saying that she's owning up to her mistake in it in any way, and yeah, I gotta say, you really should just say sorry. Like, even if you doubled down at this point, saying sorry would make it a lot better. Because if this artist is getting accused of sexually assaulting you in some way, that is so fucking awful. As if it's some kind of internet mentality bullshit that him drawing lewd art of you is sexual assault. It's not sexual assault. It's just someone drawing lewds of you without permission, and people should stop trying to frame it in some other way. That sounds so terminate on- I don't, I don't even think she said that. I think some random guy said it, and some artists were just doing that. Like, guys, you can't report artists for sexual assault on the fucking internet. 
internet. That's not how that works. Even if Twitter has a place and time to report sexual assault, it's not sexual assault. You're just flooding their system with trash. To briefly summarize this and wrap it up, because I'm not trying to drag this out to be too long of a video, um... Uh, Gia was wrong in her take. She should just retract it, say sorry, and next time be very fucking communicative with the people you are asking to draw lewd art of you. If you weren't comfortable with it, you need to stay on top of it. Because, I know, I understand as a content creator, it's really easy to forget. I forget shit all the time. But, this is your brand? This is you reaching out to other people, you're using their time, their resources, and they have the audacity to say afterward that they can retract consent and that you no longer want it. It's like, he already made it. There's no, there's no more consent involved. You had your chance multiple times over a course of two months to say no. He didn't have to inform you that he was winning or anything. It wasn't a raffle. He didn't have to tell you. He didn't have to say anything. Because that's just how it is. You have to go out of your way to say something. People aren't gonna read your mind. We're not psychic. However, Gia's not the only sole culprit here. Anybody that watches and consumes her content that had the audacity to go report this guy for sexual assault of all things, y'all have something wrong with you. Do not do that. That is fucked up. I don't know what it is with Twitter and taking the most extreme route, but labeling someone as a sexual assaulter over lewd art, y'all wrong for that, and y'all really need to go touch some grass now. Anyways, yeah, that's my take on the Gia the Brat situation. Uh, I really hope she doesn't block me over this, because despite all of this, I still think she's a wonderful person. She just made a terrible choice, and that's that's okay. You're, you're allowed to fuck up, you know? it's we're, we're human. It's not like she, like claimed somebody raped her. It's not like she claimed that somebody was racist or a pedophile without actual proof or something. She didn't do anything really heinous. She might have accidentally succumbed to letting people harass somebody over a point of view that is subjective. I mean, a lot of people aren't agreeing with it, but it was very subjective, and that's hers to make. It's her mistake to have. I don't think she's a terrible person. I still enjoy and consume her content. And I hope that this gets rectified. I hope that the artist that was responsible is not getting harassed anymore. And that's j all I can really say is that it's just, it's a, it's a terrible situation and anybody involved in it, I hope the best for you. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, my friend. And I'll see you guys whenever I decide to log into my second channel and upload again. See ya! Time is bleeding, but I wanna just be honest with myself. Now I'm clean, go with the wind, changing cause on the scene, keep it real. Proof of life, a living masterpiece. Everybody betrays me.